is the Hamilton Python user group meeting for the 14th of February and I'm Ian Stewart and I will give a presentation on um, a little program I've written which I've called Wordle Assistant. I'll just give an example of a, a program I wrote about 2014, so um, eight years ago, which I used to use for helping solve crosswords. And, um, and it's actually a lot of what's in that program is kind of similar for this Wordle Assistant program. Um, I'll also explain what um, what the little uh, Wordle program or Wordle game is. And um, probably the easiest way to learn it is just to watch a video clip, which is um, actually I got one of Jimmy Fallon from Saturday Night Live. And you, you watch him play one game of Wordle and then you'll pretty much understand the rules. Um, then uh, some of the rules. Oh, after that, I'll just summarize the rules and how my little program works. And then I'll use Wordle assistance in, in, in reviewing um, Jimmy Fallon's choice of words. Uh, after that, we'll we'll look at some games. And um, one method we can use is um, putting in words that eliminate all vowels and Y um, so that um, we, we home in on the, the, the word uh, quicker. What's the answer? Um, so we'll do that on Jimmy Fallon's um, uh, words and there was a game a few days ago we'll look at that and then another game where um, we got all well it should say yellow there not orange um, I wrote a couple of utilities so we can look at some of those and then look at some code snippets and then hopefully we can play today's um, um, Wordle game and um, my little program wordleassistant.py I'll be posting on github the um, handpad meeting that's the link um, for where it'll be when I'll post it tomorrow. Okay, so um, I'll just start with this crossword cracker. You should see um, a crossword puzzle and code cracker tool. Um, this is what I wrote for um, when for solving crossword puzzles. Uh, my wife used to say to me things like, well, "What's got five words starts with a Z or something." So. Here you can see I could just click it to have a length of five words and then I could um, select that the first one had to be a letter Z and the result is of the five letter words, um, 13 of them have, um, uh, 13 words start with the letter Z. And if it, if it said, oh, okay, but it's, it, it needs to end with an A, then we come down to zebra. Okay, so Wordle, um, you can ha um, you can assist trying to solve um, a Wordle puzzle by using this crossword code um, cracker tool I wrote. Um, anyway, I've written a separate one, a separate little program which I've called Wordle Assistant, and um, it's not actually a GUI. This is a Takinta um, GUI interface. My, my wife's just a um, command line interface. As an introduction to Wordle, um, Wordle is a web-based word game um, developed by Josh Wardle. So it's really um, Wordle and Wardle. It's just a pun on his name. Uh, the game is played once each day as an internet game. Uh, each day has a new word to solve. Um, Wardle initially created the game for himself and his partner to play and other members of his family and eventually making it public in October 2021. Um, so that's only six months ago or so that it's been uh, on the internet. Um, recently, the game was purchased by the New York Times company, but it's still available at his website, which is called powerlanguage.co.uk slash Wordle. And we'll go there later on and have a look. Um, the total number of words he uses is 12,972. And they say he uses USA spelling. One thing with that crossword checker, I use the English, British English um, word list that comes with Linux distribution. And of the five letter words, there are only 4,600. So um, he's used a fairly extensive um, dictionary to be able to pull up to get um, a total of 12,900 words. 
Um, 50 wo four words do not have A, E, I, O, or U. Um, some of them are pretty obvious because they've got a Y substituting as an I for, and um, uh, like a Y is like a, a replacement vowel for a vowel. Um, so you've got crips and cysts and gypsy, hymns. These are words that have got Ys in them. There was also some words I found with um, no vowels and no Y, and I don't know quite how to pronounce them. Um, but um, like I said, he, he certainly had quite an extensive um, dictionary when he, when he came up with these words. Um, okay, now to show you how Wordle is played, I'm going to try playing a video. Hey, guys, and I'm serious about this. Please don't spoil this, okay? But if anyone played Wordle today, don't tell me what it is. Don't tell, don't tell you did play? Don't tell me. I want to play Wordle right, right now. now. Right now? Did you do it? Uh, I didn't do it this morning. Me neither. Did you do it? Yeah. All right, you did it. All right, so Higgins, you can't play. Z. Oh. No, you ruined it. <laughs> uh, so you know the game Wordle? If you don't know, it's, a, it's some website. You got to go to some wordle wordle.uk or something. Uh, you guess the first five letters, right? Right. And if you're close, it gives you a yellow square. If you're completely correct, they give you a green square. Right. But I think we could play together. Okay. Right. Let's do it. So is my screen. Uh, my screen will go up. This is my screen. Stop. So I can move the mouse. There you go. Right there. Okay. All yeah, right. Move the, roll the roll the dice. Move your mice. All right. Here we go. Um, What's our first word? What do you normally go with, Quinn? I did title yesterday, and I got it in three guesses. So. Title. I usually go loved. You see, you're confident that a V is going to be in this word? Oh, that's interesting. I always do... That's it. What do you I always go do with? arise. Arise. Or ado. Yeah. Because that's got a lot of vowels in it. Ado? Mm-hmm. Nice. Ado? ado? Is that a word? Yeah. I do. I know I do A D O, but I do. Yeah, like A D I. I bid you fond adieu. Nice. Fond adieu? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Fondue. Fondue would yeah. be a word. That says too many letters. It's five letters. All right, so let's. What do you think? Entitled, loved, or adieu? I like his uh, arise better. Do arise. Oh, I'm going to do arise. Right, R S, bunch of vowels. You should be good. Arise. This is our first Big word we're going. Here we go. Oh. 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 <laughs> All right. Yes. All right. So it's A. a we got A is definite. That's a guaranteed that's letter. That's exactly the right place. Yes. That's exactly right. And E is somewhere in there. Wow. No R-I-S in it? No. Wow. All right. So now, so it's A, definitely. And there's an E in there somewhere. So it's A blank E, I'm assuming. Uh, a... Uh, H, no, uh, ah, chew. I felt the same thing. What? I felt the same thing. Uh, what do you think? Uh, but there's uh, no E in a chew. The E isn't, that's true. There's uh, no E in a chew. Uh, 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 all, all, app, at, an, an, sounds like something? A-N-E? Awake? A awake? No. Because oh, the E's be, in the wrong can, spot. I'm just saying the oh. rules. I'm not saying the right, blow. Right. I'm saying the rule. Yes, yes. So you don't e want to guess that because the E, you e. blow the E. So what is, words usually end with D? Uh, a head. Let's try that. A head. <laughs> oh. Mm. So it's definitely the second to last letter. Yeah. That's the E is definitely the second to last letter. Yes, that's correct. It has to be. So the E is definitely the second. So With uh, no R and no D at it? Wow, that's crazy. No D in there either. Uh, head. No so it's a, a, a blank blank E blank. E-R? Uh, nope. ad, adhere? Nope. We got an R right there in the rise. I'm just saying. I'm trying to have the rules of the game. I'm not cheating. I always want Higgins' microphone to be turned off. Just because <laughs> no, he's right. This. We've, we've gotten this far. Right. Don't spoil he's it. He's right. He's right. I know he's right. He's right. He's right. He's, he's, he's... All right. Uh, add, add, add. What could follow an E that's not S, R, or D? A P? T? T? E-T? Phone home. 
I don't think it's E-T, it's E. N. Oh. Again? Ah. No. no I'm sorry, sorry, oh. sorry. Hey, sorry. Oh, my ah. gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm just suggesting something. What? All right, Quest, what do you think? Ah, damn. It's too much pressure. I know. It's a, it's I thought it was going to be aware, but it's not. No. Uh, 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 uh awake. Mm-mm. No, the E's got to be before the... It's in the middle. Annex? Mm-mm. Jesus, that's really tricky. I mean, what, what, what day is today? Thursday? Should it be this hard? No, it was a hard one. <laughs> this is too hard. Quest, maybe just stop playing the drums and just focus. <laughs> yeah. And get your head in the game. Come okay. A- Annex? Judas Priest. Annex? <laughs> On a Thursday? <laughs> of course not! Annex! That's a Sunday word! It's cool. Annex. It's cool. It's cool. I mean... It's not cool. I'm, I'm so upset. We're, we're progressing right now. We're good. We're good. Okay, okay, okay. Don't freak out. Mm-hmm. Ass? I, I gotta zone out. Uh, so you got, look at those letters left. So, uh, F. F. I mean, now I'm hoping for spoilers. Alley? Oh, yeah, that feels like a Thursday. Alley. No, 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 there's an S in it. Ashy? No, 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 there's an F. Abby? Yeah, yeah Downton Abbey, I feel that way. I feel Abbey. It's, it's England. This yeah. thing is like UK, wordle.uk. I think it's Abby. Really? Okay. You don't, you don't think it's Abby? It could be. I mean, isn't that a proper noun? Like, are proper nouns allowed? or? Abby? I mean, no, what it's is allowed. It? Let's try Abby. You guys agree, Abby? Oh, I think it's really allowed. That's the actual link to the to the, what we just watched. Okay, um, what was happening in that game? Um, it was all about reducing the. Um, the possible words as you add another word to the list, and uh, it took him five goes to get to the um, to the actual word of the day. Um, normally, um, what happens is if the letters are dark grey, it, it means that the, those letters are not in the word. So, uh, with my little program, all words, all twelve thousand, can be scanned for this letter in any position and removed from the list of possible words. If it's um, orange or green, or or it sort of looks orange, it's yellowy orange, uh, all words that do not have this letter may be removed from the list of possible words. And um, if it's um, just orange, then the letter is in the word, but not at this position. All words that have this letter at this position may be removed from the list. And then um, there may be multiple letters at a certain position that are not in the correct place. So we, we need to be able to have a field that allows you to put in multiple letters um, for that position. And it, it could be um, green, which means the letter is in the word and it is at this position. So all words that do not have this letter at this position may be removed from the list. And only this letter can be in this position. So each um, one of these steps here filters out some of the um, uh, the words and hopefully there's only one word left. Um, let's have a look at, at using my Wordle Assistant program and um, with, the, with the word Arise that was the first one that um, Jimmy Fallon put in. Um, so we started off with 12,000 words. The, the words that were dark grey, R-I-S, Right, get filtered out. So that drops 
um, he gets rid of about three quarters of the words are not no longer in um, in the list of contenders. And then for yellow and green, the A and E are both there, so it, it drops it down to 615 words. And of the yellow letters, we found we had a yellow letter in um, position five, and that drops us down to 399, so a couple of hundred more knocked off. And we've got one green letter, and it's an A, and it comes down to, we now have 51 remaining words. So here are the 51 remaining words that, um, that um, are contenders for, the, for this, the solution for this one. So let's move on to the next word he put in was a head. And now with um, R, I, S, H, and D, this A is, is, this one supersedes this, so we don't count that. So R, I, S, D, uh, dark grey. Um, now we go from 12,000 down to like 2,000, so we get rid of a bit more than three quarters. And yellow and green are still, we've, we've still got A and E, and that uh, drops it down a bit. And then um, E occurs in two places, the third position in the word and the fifth position in the word. So that drops us to 153, and A must be in the first position. So now it drops us down to the 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 contender has to be one of eleven these eleven words, okay? And we go on to the next slide. Um, uh, what we what he added was annex and um, total words. Um, now we've got the n and x n and x get added to the to letters not in the word and. Um, we, we whittle it down a bit more, and we've got two that are in their known position. So this time, remaining words are um, seven, right? And um, if we go to the next one, he put in alley, okay? And when we put in alley, and it's still not the answer, but it gets rid of um, the L's here, um, and we also get the Y as, as another green letter. So the green letters, um, A, E, and Y. We've got A, E, and Y. And um, total words remaining is uh, just one, which was Abbey. So it, it took five goes to get to Abbey. Um, if if we now try using a, um, a mythology to, uh, to solve this, um, he picked a rise because it had three vowels, A, I and E, but the next word didn't eliminate the O and U or the Y, which uh, by the time he's done that, he's pretty much touched on every word in his dictionary. Um, and he, and he, he um, see, it wasn't that till down here that he actually realized the Y was, was part of the word. So um, if uh, we, we, we try another way, um, Two, two opening words that you could consider using are um, audio and yelps. Um, audio has A, I, O, and U, so it's missing the E for a vowel, and yelps includes the Y. So we, we get uh, five vowels plus Y, and um, we also get four uh, cons consonants, the D, L, P, and S, which are fairly common in, in a lot of words. Another example could be using um, bio and um, uh, and inset. But now let's just try using these two words or these two. Okay, so in, um, in Jimmy Fallon's one where he's got to end up with Abby, if we use the audio and yelps, okay, then um, these are the words uh, that would, after we put those two words in, we'd end up with um, those ones being discarded, and we would have um, yellow and green being either A, Y, or E, and um, uh, well, the ones that are in the word but not in the correct position are Y and E, and the one that is um, in, the, in the word and in the correct position is A. So um, total words remaining is five. So uh, we get five um, possible uh, words 
uh, left after um, just entering these two words. And uh, let's try the other two. If we try bio and inset, um, if we put them in, uh, these are not in the word, so we've dropped down. Initially, we knock out about um, 11,000 words. Um, by the time we've we've um, entered the letters that we've we've got, the total words remaining is 13. And by the time we put in um, the yellow letters, three words remain. By the time we put the position of uh, the letter E that we had um, in inset being in the correct position, then it brings out that there is only one um, word. The, the solution has to be Abby. So um, that's that's one approach is to use um, get rid of all your your vowels and and also the letter Y within the first two um, two words. Um, there was a um, uh, a um, Wordle that was on the 11th of February, and I tried it with by you and inset. And as you can see, when I came right down here, um, it, I still had 66 words remaining. After after I put in these two words, it was still one of 66. Um, if, if I added glued as the third word, which is just one of the words from this list, um, glued is here. If I could have picked any one of those words, um, if I added, I added glued, and that actually gave me the answer, which was uh, ulcer. So I got it on the fourth uh, line. Um, here was one that my my son did, and I'd mentioned him about using audio and Yelps, and um, he put those two in, and he got five. Um, Five yellows, which means that's that that has to be a word. So I don't know whether you can work out what the word is, but um, if we go to the next screen, um, he he worked it out, and it was pause. And if we run that through my little assistant program, we we discard these letters, we put in the the ones that are all um, yellow, and immediately it has come out that there is only one word remaining and um, even when we put in all the the yellows here there's still one word remaining and the, there were no greens in the first two lines but it came out that the word was pause and there was no other word that matched if we try putting in pause and use my bio and and um, inset um, it doesn't quite uh, it isn't quite so successful. Um, we come down, and, and as you can see, we end up with five words, of which pause is one of them. So um, it would have taken another line to have got the um, the pause, or at least another line. You would have had to sort of toss up with, with what the word was. Um, Okay, I also wrote a little utility program, which was to um, just have a look at, at what words um, uh, are, are out there and, and um, in in the list of twelve thousand. So, in my program, I have data equals and then a um, uh, a list, and there's a list there of all the. Here, here we start with the A's and then cut there, and we finish up with the Z's. Um, and that um, gives a total of 12,972 words. Um, if I then look for the words that do not have any of the vowels, A, E, I, O, U, then here's my list of 54. And um, some of them don't, most of them have a Y in them. Some of them have um, no Y in them, um, like those, like girls. Uh, um, anyway, um, if you look for four vowels or a Y in a word, there are actually 20 of them. Um, and that's where um, I used audio and I used bio to get um, either um, th th either all four or four vowels or to get um, three vowels and, and a, um, a Y. Okay. Uh, I looked at occurrences of letters in every word. So if you look at the total number of S's, 
that's how in all nine twelve thousand nine hundred words um there's six thousand six hundred and sixty five of um letter s's and then e's are next most popular with um six 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 two and um we see that the vowels e a and o are um pretty popular and consonants that are popular are s r l and t and then okay so I guess if you're looking for words, then uh, getting rid of um, these consonants or getting using these consonants um, in, in your first words or first th two or three words um, it helps eliminate, um, you know, helps you hone in on, on the, the word of the day. Um, I also looked at pairs. Um, so double O's, double E's, double L's in words. And of the 12,000 words, so you've got 328 have double O's in them. Um, if you've just put one O, there's no real hint to tell you that there is a second O in there. You've got to work that out. Um, yeah, so you might have an O and it's marked as green and it's in the second position, but there's nothing to, to advise you that the third position, let's say the word was foots or something, F-O-O-T-S, um, there's nothing to advise you that the third position is also an O. Okay. Um, right. So what's the next thing? Um, there's also a lot of words that have non-adjacent um, duplication of letters. So words that have E in them twice, is the 688 of those words that have a in them twice um, but not you know not together it's not e it could start with an e and end with an e or something so th there's again it's just sort of a bit of probability of, of um like s is quite a common word um t you know a common letter of the consonants t r d and c okay um just to look at some of the little code snippets that I um, uh, from my my code. I mean, um, wordleassistant.py will be posted at this um, GitHub address. You can look through the code there if you like. I will have it up by tomorrow. Um, but the total words, I just did a length on the data to get uh, total words in the data list. Um, there is times when I want to make sure I don't have duplicate letters entered. So I could have a word list and it could be A, E, I, O, U, and then another U, for example, and I want to strip the second U. And um, so if I have not a word list is equal to list, dick from uh, keys, and then not, not in word list, um, this will take this list and put it into a dictionary which only allows um, one occurrence of the primary um, uh, uh, one occurrence of the key and um, then I make a list from all the keys and so that way I would get my list back as a e i o u and if I'd had a, a second u or another a second a e i or whatever th then they would be stripped out um, one thing I wanted to do was um, uh, have a list and then I wanted to pop out, remove items from the list and I knew the location within the list where I wanted to remove them. And um, so let's, uh, so I would, I would pop it. But um, what can happen is you can end up pulling it, the rug out from under your own feet and trip yourself up. Um, if we look here at the um, the little um, bit of Python code, A is equal to A, B, C, D, E, and then R for remove. I want to remove the letter at position one and the letter at position two. So if I go for I in R pop, A dot pop I, then I will pop the letter at position one, which will mean I will take the B out. But then C will shuffle down and it will become position one and D will, will move in to become position two. So the next time through the loop, when I go to pop the, um, the, the item at 
at position two, instead of pulling the C, I pull the D. So uh, when I look at the end result, A, I've got A, C, E, and I've popped B and D. Um, if I do it in reverse, um, then then I can't. I don't pull the rug out from under me. So for I in reversed R, um, pop I. So the first thing I will pop is um, the the, the uh, string at the second, um, at the, well, at the third position in in the list. So I pop the C, and although the D and the E will cut, will move down uh, from to replace the the C D E. Um, the B has not moved, so that if I now pop the um, uh, character, or the, the, the first item in the list, then I pull out my B, and that way um, I get um, my my main list is A, D, and E with um, the first and second letters popped, which is B and C. So I use that code uh, in the in the program. My Wordle Assistant program, if, if you can go dash dash verbose or dash v and it will um, provide you some more lists really as you're going through it. Um, um, so a bit more information can be extracted from it. Um, from the Linux um, distro that I've used, um, in the user share dick, there's a British English um, word list and it contains um, proper nouns, apostrophe s yes, words, um, some words with acutes and graphs. So by by um, feeding into it um, this if statement and and all its little parts to it, then I check. There's about a hundred thousand words I think in the British English dictionary, but I only want the five letter ones because of the words words I would use with Wordle. Um, so I, I start with it. if the length is equal to five and the word is lowercase, it's not a proper noun, uh, it doesn't have an apostrophe in it, so it's not an apostrophe S yes anywhere, and it hasn't got, it's not a sort of a, a French word that's been imported into English but still maintains its acutes or graphs. So just that filter gets me, I think there's about 4,600 or something, whoops, words. Um, I also... Uh, want to deposit the words not as a list but just as a, a string and um, so if I've got a list of words um, then by by using this mod 10 I get 10 words across a line and then I, I add a line feed and then I build up a string again with another 10 words until uh, I get 10 across the line I need to do this index minus 9 to get started Otherwise, I have to start at minus nine, so I go minus nine, minus eight, minus seven, minus six, till I get to zero, which is the tenth word, and then um, zero mod ten will be zero, and and um, th therefore I will execute this, which will um, put a line feed in. Otherwise, I would start off where the very first word would be have an index of zero, and and so the first word would have a line feed after it. So that's a, a little another bit of code I used. Um, I just wrote the standard. I just broke it up into really one, two, three, four, five, um, five calls to um, functions, right? And the first one just gets the data, and then we we strip out the letters not in the word, and then um, strip out um, do the filtering when we've put in what letters are in the word, that sort of thing. Um, and I also have my data. I just bring the whole 12,000 words in. And I, when I start, I just call this as the main. So I'm, the program loads the data, and then I call it, and then I go to the main. I don't really need to put data here because it's already a global from, from being picked up um, at, as it scans through. So there's some little code snippets, and if you want more, you can look at the source code. Um, the, the, the website where we play today's game, so I'll just open up a, uh, a terminal as well and have this, and um, I'll put in um, 
Python. Wordle Assistant. I'll go for my um, audio and um, A U D I O. I'll see how I get on with that. So I put in audio and enter. And I is in the right place, right? So I'll just, um, from the dark gray letters, we filter out A, U, D, and O, and uh, enter the letters. So we've got I is in the right place, and the, we don't have any yellow, yellow letters, but we've got one green letter in um, position four. And that green letter is the letter I. All right, and um, we've still got 214 words left. <laughs> okay, I'll now put in, um, what was it? Yelps. Um, Y-E-L-P-S. Enter, and it's got a Y um, as the uh, as yellow, so Y is not the first letter. So I'll now run my little program again, and um, we've now got gone through all the vowels and the letter Y, and we've only got an I and a Y in it. And uh, so letters not in the word A U D. O and E L P S A U D O E L P S right and um, the letters in the word are I and Y that we know of okay and the yellow letters in the first position we've got a Y and nothing else that's yellow and for the green position the fourth position is an I. And um, um, this actually, from my my little assistant, this um, gives me three three words left, um, which are possibles. Um, one is cynic. Uh, another one is tie-in, and zymic. Um, now. Apparently, the, the, the words that um, were picked by the guy's partner. So I think he tends to pick, um, she tended to pick um, uh, uh, words that are more common usage. So I'll, I'll go for cynic. So I'll put in C, Y, uh, N, I, C. C Y N I C, and we'll we'll have a look, and voila, okay. So um, that's that's uh, uh, the solution, and um, if we look here at the distribution, it then gives you a little um, um, uh, distribution of how you've gone. So I've played Wordle now um, eight times. Um, four times I've got it on the third. Uh, one time, uh, twice I've got it on the on the fourth word. Uh, one time on the fifth word. Okay. Now that's seven. Four. Two, six. One. Seven. Played eight. Hmm. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> um, okay. So so anyway, that's that's playing um, Wordle. And uh, with a bit of uh, assistance, you can um, sort of home in pretty quickly on uh, what the word might be. Possibly it takes all the fun out of it. Um, but, yeah, all the same. It's, uh, uh, it was a little exercise in writing a program that's uh, very recursive and, um, and whittles things down. I think that's probably, um, probably it for a presentation.